Hey guys, it's Diana Tabois here with Redesign Your Clothes. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make this sweater dress this fall. Let's begin. Two yards to two and a half yards of sweater fabric depending on your size, scissors, pin, ruler and measuring tape not shown here. Lastly, a sweater dress that fits you nice. This one is one of my favorites, so I will be using it for this tutorial. Fold your fabric edge to edge, salvage to salvage. Then place your sweater dress on top and fold the dress at high to mid hip and place it towards the bottom of the fabric. Fold in your armhole your, your sleeves so you can have the shape of the arm. Then you want to go ahead and cut the dress out with a half an inch seam allowance. Once you cut it out, your dress is supposed to be about 28 to 9, 29 inches. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that it's fully even. So I went ahead and folded it in half and just kneed up the edges like my armhole and the side seams. So you want to do that to make sure everything is identical. Once it's done, you're going to take one part of the pattern the fabric and that's going to be your front part and you're going to fold it in half and we're going to make the neckline and we're going to come down three inches from the top edge of the neckline we're going to swing it over to the shoulder and it will look just like this now we're going to place the back portion onto the front and you're going to pin it to place so you can stitch it down. You're going to stitch the side seam and the shoulders together. Once that's complete, it will look just like this. Now we're going to measure the bottom of the dress. The width of mine is 19. Yours can be more or less depending on your size. We are going to be creating our flounce hem. To do this, we're going to be using a round item. I'm using a cover of a container, you can use a plate or any round item that you have available. I'm going to be taking my measuring tape and I'm going to measure around the circle. Now if your circles are just a little bit bigger, you can always cut it away once you cut out your flounce, but um, I would recommend it to be just a little bit smaller than the size of the width of your bottom. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and decide how long you want your flounce to be. My flounce is nine inches long. You can have it a little bit shorter if you want or go longer. Now, you wanna take your marking chalk and you wanna mark the circle around onto the fabric. You should have a circle just like this. Then take your ruler and the measurement of the length you want your flounce to be, you're going to go ahead and mark it at the bottom of that circle. Follow that measurement all the way around that circle in the center so you can have a bigger circle on the outside. Once it's complete, you're gonna go ahead and cut it out. It should be doubled, so that way you have two pieces. Now one side, we're gonna go ahead and cut into the circle so we can get into the center, and then we're gonna cut away the circle in the center. Once you are done, then you can open it and voila, there goes your flounce. Now, I went ahead and separated it and um, placed it on the backhand side. And to see the length of the flounce, I went ahead and measured it with my sweater. And as I told you, because it's cut on a circle, there's a little bit of extra allowance. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that half an inch off on each side. You can do this if it's the same problem for you. Now we're back and it fits better now so I'm going to go ahead and sew a half an inch uh, seam allowance at the sides. It's going to look just like this. I flip it and now I'm going to connect it to the bottom. And you want to pin it around so you can get ready to stitch it. I'm going to stitch a zigzag stitch so that way allow me to stretch it on and off. 
So I went ahead and cleaned my edges and I did an overlock stitching at the end of my flounce. And I also overlocked the stitch the side seam as well to clean it up to give it a more polished finishing. Here is our neckline now. We're going to have to measure it so we can create our turtleneck. So take your measuring tape, measure the whole entire neckline as you see me here. And with that measurement, we are going to take it and place it onto the fabric. I'm going to mark 20 on my fabric. As you see here. And then 12 inches from those markings, I went up and made uh, it 24 inches. And this is the top part of my, uh, my, uh, my turtleneck. Now you can have it bigger by making it wider, but if you don't, you can also make it 24, which is pretty big. As you can see, I cut it out and it's on a diagonal because the bottom part is smaller than the top part of the, the turtleneck. You wanna go ahead and cut it across just like I'm doing it here. And then it will look just like this. Then you wanna turn it on the wrong side and sew it a half an inch seam allowance. And it will look just like this. And as you can see, I did a seam allowance with overlock stitching just to clean it up. And then on the wrong side as well, you want to place your turtleneck on top of the neckline and connect it. Pin it to place and then you can zigzag stitch it around the neck just like this. And it will look like this once it's complete. If your fabric is fraying, I recommend you to clean the edge. Now I'm getting ready to do my sleeve. And I didn't have that much fabric left so I'm using the scraps that I have to do the best I can. And I'm going to copy my sleeve. I folded the fabric in half against the fold and I placed the, my, my sleeve of my sweater dress on the, against the fold. And now I'm going to cut it away. And here I am just pinning into place because I'm getting ready to cut off the top part of the armhole which I want to create a more of a off the shoulder type of look. So I came down three inches from the top, cut it off, and it will look just like this. So I went ahead and recopied that pattern onto another piece of fabric. And my sleeve length is 23 inches long. Once you're complete, it's going to look like this. Now you want to sew a half an inch seam allowance to your arms sleeve. The top of the armhole, I went ahead and cleaned that up as well with overlock stitching, but turned it back a half an inch to clean it up. Here's a tip. If you notice that once you put your sleeve in your armhole and you see the sleeve is still hanging, you may want to go back and cut your sleeve on a diagonal at the armhole to shorten it at the top so that way it can fit tighter around your arm when you place it into the armhole. Now once it's complete and you have everything done with the sleeves, you wanna go ahead and connect it at the armhole. Here I am pinning them um, into place, and again, it's not gonna go all the way up the armhole, it's gonna go like mid to halfway. Now at the top of your sleeve, if you have, like I said before, if you have a problem where it's not tight, you wanna go ahead and just cut away some more so that way it be tighter at the top. Once you place in your sleeve at the armhole, you just want to stitch it down. I went ahead and did an overlock stitching to clean my armhole and then I turned it back a half an inch. And then once you're all done and finished, you are ready to wear. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you have an item in your closet that you wish to redesign, let me know down in the comments and I will select a commenter for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.